Twas the night of Solorius, when all through the docks, not a present was left there, not even a box. I went to my parents and once asked them where the giver was hiding and why he weren't there. The people looked on me and did shake their heads, said the giver was dreamed up in all children's beds, and Mama retired for quite a long nap. She asked me to lie still and sleep in her lap. When I could not sleep as my dreams they did shatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the districts I flew like a flash, and found Trugos dressed up in the giver's own sash. The moon on the pavement gave quite the odd glow, and I pressed on to tell the giver Shugo hello. I asked what had happened, if the giver was real, and he said only, Buy here, the price is a steal. Young child, you really must give me a try. You can buy anything that catches your eye. So pretty a petal I can sell you as Vina. I only ask you for one thousand one kina. I looked on with dismay as the Shugo sold lies. The giver was real and he'd appear in the skies. I stayed up all night hoping music would bring him, and I played that piano till street lamps were turned dim. His night turned to day and I was all alone. I started for home to for my absence atone. Yet as I went back to the place some deliver, who should I see there than none but the giver? His eyes how they sparkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses. His nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Then he approached me, my eyes welled with tears. He touched my chin softly and dismissed my fears. I told him I spent all the night looking round and asked him why earlier he'd not been around. He gave me no present and quite a sad smile, said I have been fighting for oh quite a while. The abyss is torn and ravaged by war, and I did what I could to help Asmodee's core. He said he wore armor and brandished a sword. His black wings would pump as they took him toward a battlefield waiting to claim many deva, where the giver had pledged to become a savior. He told me tales how the Balor would torture and how Primum guards fought every day in a scorcher, that the Ilios loathed us and wanted us dead. White-winged attackers, they filled us with dread. And because he was so busy fighting that war, he couldn't bring presents to those he adored. But I looked up at him and I gave him a smile, for he had a gift for us all of this while. I knew that his gift was but freedom and peace for Asmodee's welfare and our strife to cease. He thanked me and smiled before taking flight. Happy Solorius Tasmo Day and Tasmo Day. Good night.